Everyone enjoys a good old scratch, and elephants are no exception. An elephant's trunk is a multifunctional tool that aids in smelling, eating, drinking, social interaction, defense, and even thermoregulation. Yet one of its most handy uses is for scratching those hard-to-reach itches. In episode 13 of our Elephant Behavior series, we take a closer look at a common behavior that Elephant Voices has aptly named Scratch with Trunk. Join us as we explore how elephants use their trunks to alleviate those pesky itches, particularly focusing on their ears and eyes, which are the most common targets for relief. However, it's important to note that sometimes what appears to be a simple scratch may actually be a form of displacement behavior. Yep, we'll delve into this concept and discuss it in more detail later in the episode. So let's take a look at our context reel, which shows the 23 different ways Elephant Voices categorizes elephant behaviors. When it comes to scratch with the trunk, we find it mainly in one specific context, foraging and comfort technique. But here's where it gets a bit tricky. It can also be linked to another behavior called displacement grooming, as just mentioned, which can be seen in a few different contexts. I know this may sound a little confusing, but we'll circle back to that a bit later. So how do the Elephant Voices team describe the behavior of scratch with trunk? Using the curled end of the trunk, or the trunk fingers, to scratch the body. And what about the foraging comfort technique, which you all may be familiar with by now, but let's look at it again. Methods or techniques employed by elephants to achieve comfort, or to feed effectively on particular types of vegetation or species of plant. Now let's dive in and check out some examples of the scratch with trunk behavior. Who doesn't love sharing a milk guzzling moment with our brave snare survivor, Kinesa? In this clip, she enjoys a few liters of her special milk formula provided by our lovely carer, Reply. Once finished, she takes a moment to give her left ear a bit of a relieving scratch. Shall we take a quick closer look at how they scratch their ears? Before we look at some more examples, let's watch this little insert of Owen talking about the structure of an elephant's ear, just to quickly show you where the actual outer ear canal is found, which is approximately 20 centimeters in length. Many people may not be aware of this. Let's take a look. look um, the ear for ear, the ear wall uh, is mostly outside, not inside. If we look at it right here on the top, that's the ear wall of the elephant. And Thanks for that, Owen. Now let's take a look at another example. So Tombi and Klaseri are not only mother and daughter, but they are also just the best of friends with one another. They are seen here head to head giving one another a bit of affection in the rain. It seems that Tombi has a genuine itch in her ear and so lifts her trunk in a scratch with trunk behavior and uses the distal portion of the trunk, otherwise referred to as the tip of the trunk, to scratch the itch. Such long trunks certainly do come in handy. Of course she'll want to stay and eat the green grass. This video clip was taken in September 2020 and it shows Kinesa using scratch with trunk behavior for a much needed ice scratch. Just like a child or a toddler would have a good scratch with their knuckles and fist. You heard Adine in the background sharing her daily update about Kinesa, who would have just turned one years old at the time. We'll be walking on sunshine. We'll be walking on sunshine. We'll be walking on sunshine. 
Right, so let's get back to the point we made earlier about the possibility that ear or eye scratching or scratching in general could rather be considered at a closer look to be part of displacement behavior and in particular displacement grooming. This behavior often occurs when elephants find themselves in uncertain or ambivalent situations where they're not quite sure how to proceed. Imagine an elephant experience a moment of hesitation. Maybe it's during social play, an unusual situation, or even a more tense situation. Often they will engage in self-grooming behaviors. This could include scratching themselves, throwing dust on themselves, like dusting, as we've seen in previous episodes, or throwing vegetation onto their bodies, or making various trunk movements. We also see a related behavior called displacement feeding, in that situation, an elephant may appear to be foraging, plucking leaves or grass, but not actually eating it. This can happen when they're feeling uncertain again about the surroundings or, or the social dynamics at play. To truly understand these behaviors, it's crucial to consider the context of what is happening. For example, if an elephant is in a situation where they feel unsure, a simple scratch might not just be a scratch. It could be part of a broader response to their environment reflecting their emotional state. A perfect illustration of this can be seen in this clip, with Kumbura interacting with her longtime caregiver, Last. When Last starts singing and dancing around in an unfamiliar way, Kumbura seems uncertain about how to react. This led her to engage in scratching her ear, moving her trunk and her body, her ears, by observing not just a single behavior closely, but rather assessing the environment or situation an elephant is in, and looking closer for a few more behaviors that may happen while they scratch themselves, we can then decide if it was indeed a simple scratch for the relief of an itch, which is part of the foraging and comfort technique, or part of a broader context of behaviors that would show displacement behavior. So let's revisit the start of this clip, where you see a few of Kumbura's movements with her body and her trunk and her scratching of her ear which led us to interpret the scratch to be part of displacement grooming behavior rather than a standard scratch with trunk. Kumbura and Kanisa are enjoying one another's company as Kanisa has a little lie down and Kumbura is busy dusting herself, a behavior we explored in episode four of our series. You can see that Kumbura stops her activity to focus on her scratching of her right eye. She gives it a good scratch and carries on with her dusting routine. We interpret this to just be a straightforward scratch with trunk. We would like to express our gratitude to the team at Elephant Voices once again for the decades of research that went into creating their elephant ethogram, which this series is based upon. Please go visit their website and follow their interesting social media platforms. This is their website address on the screen now. We will leave you for a minute to view a few more short examples before we say cheerio for this episode.
We hope we have sparked your curiosity to keep following our series and learn even more about elephant behavior with each episode. Click on the video to the left to revisit our previous episodes anytime for a refresher. It's free and available 24-7 in our dedicated YouTube playlist. We can't wait to see you back here for episode 14. Cheerio!